So, I've been speculating for a while that Bitcoin might have to correct some more before resuming its uptrend to the next market cycle top. In my latest video I was discussing that we might be finally getting a larger dump after a long period of stagnation. Bitcoin crashed more than 15% in just 2 hours after that video. At the same time, it's important to remain humble because nobody gets it right all the time and that's why it's important for you to retain your own critical thinking. All I can do is give you my thoughts and likelihoods based on what I'm seeing in the charts. So what do I currently see when looking at the charts and our Lux Algo indicators? Well, the value proposition of Bitcoin is starting to get slightly better and the people who managed to grab some BTC at 49k have a pretty nice profit potential of more than 4x if our current projection for the next top remains true. Bitcoin did not stay below 50k for a long period of time at all and we got a pretty strong rebound after the crash leaving strong demand wicks to the downside especially on the weekly scale. Other bullish signs include strong uh, selling volume during the dump which could indicate capitulation. However, here's where I also have to mention the signs telling us that we are not out of the woods just yet. First of all, it is common for long downtrends to have uh, several such volume spikes, and they can get progressively more pronounced as we get closer to the true bottom. Also, the volume does not look very special on the weekly chart. Furthermore, we're currently ranging at a precarious level of around 60k, seen many times before. Previously this has been more of a support area, but it could theoretically be turning into a resistance now, as we're approaching it from the underside. And uh, what Bitcoin needs to do to reverse this situation is to start putting in a structure of higher lows and higher highs again. Let's try to find some more clarity by checking our indicators. We can also see how the local Hearst exponent is finally starting to reverse toward the mean, as speculated in my previous market update video. We have now entered the dark yellow range and judging by previous downturns after overbought areas, we have usually continued dropping until reaching a lighter or a darker shade of green. Now let's look at the Bitcoin power law log lock graph. As you can see we reached the blue power law trend deviation line after getting rejected by the very strong median line. These lines act as strong support or resistance lines depending on which side they're being approached. For example, you can see that the blue line has been very strong resistance and support throughout Bitcoin's history. Therefore, it is no wonder that we got a pretty strong bounce from this line, at least for the time being. And the question now becomes whether this will be our true bottom, or will we be moving toward the green trend deviation line frequently visited during our previous crashes. The Bitcoin power law spiral chart currently shows that the current BTC time is 7.53, so we still have some time for shenanigans to happen before 9 o'clock. That will be the general area where Bitcoin will really take off and offer most of the returns of the bull market in a pretty short period of time. Whatever the case, it is evident that the meme of Bitcoin having a left translated cycle is losing its steam as expected. The only time when we had something resembling that was the previous cycle but even then our true top arrived just in time. We had a very angry person using uh, profanities in the comment section of our previous video who did not understand what I meant when I said that any low higher than our 15k bottom is still a bull market bottom. So I thought I'd clarify my position on this. There are different ways to determine what a bull or bear market is. For example, a crash bigger than 20% is often considered a bear market for stocks. However, definitions like these are completely arbitrary, and when it comes to Bitcoin, my definition of a bull market is very simple to follow. It is the whole uptrend between the market cycle low and the market cycle top. We do not consider the smaller in-between trends as separate bear and bull markets, and neither do most Bitcoiners. 
Therefore, due to the volatility of Bitcoin, even bull markets can have very harsh crashes of 40, 50, or even 70% like during the COVID crash. The fact remains that if you buy the bottom by following our indicators, it is only up from there. That being said, we do not expect Bitcoin to go anywhere near 15k. Even when expecting the absolute worst case scenario, our parallel indicators don't project anything lower than the high 30k region, especially for long periods of time. Another topic I want to talk about is the dilemma between buying too early in a crash and missing the bottom of a crash. We're currently in a bull market and your general attitude should therefore always favor buying the dips instead of selling the tops. For example, you might be wondering whether you should buy right now or wait for a specific price target below our current price level. The lower we drop, the higher the probability that we are near the final bottom before reversing to all-time highs again. Therefore, you should follow your own strategy according to your personal risk tolerance. One thing's for sure though, buying too early during a bull market correction is way better than missing the entire crazy move to the next top that will eventually ensue. What I like to do is ladder into my positions. Therefore, even though I'm still leaning slightly bearish for the time being, I still bought some Bitcoin during the recent dip because that is part of my strategy. If Bitcoin finds the strength to reverse the upside earlier than expected, I will use the rest of my unallocated funds and still buy in because I sure don't want the non-hodl sections of my portfolio to miss out on that mania phase. Our current estimate for the beginning of that next leg to the upside is around November or so, but bear in mind that it is just the general area and not a specific date. If you want to follow along by having our amazing trading view indicators in your trading view charts and directly support our channel at the same time, then go to luxalgo.com slash BTC Power Law. We believe our indicators more than pay their weight in Bitcoin by helping you interpret where we currently are in Bitcoin's market cycle. If you're unsure or can't afford to subscribe to them yet, you can still join our free Luxalgo Telegram group by sending me a PM on X or by clicking this Telegram icon here on our Luxalgo page. We have all kinds of interesting content like additional market updates, memes, price discussion and more. I would love to start doing this as my full-time job and your support will allow us to post higher quality content more often. We thank all of you for your continued support and here's a special shout out to all of our current Luxalgo members. If you need any help or have any questions, I'm always happy to help in our Telegram group. By the way, we also have a new Bitcoin is too unpredictable collection available in our merch store. So head over to bitposidonstore.com if you're interested. This is Saveria Mighty speaking, and as always, thanks for watching.